So hey guys, welcome to another video and today we are talking about speed tests yet again. Now, a lot of y'all have called these irrelevant because we are comparing different devices. But understand, one, this is for fun and these three devices that you see on our channel are relatively close to each other because we have the Snapdragon 855, then we have the 860 and the 870. So it's a step-by-step -step tier thing. And this time we have pixel experience on all the three devices. Only the Mi 11X has pixel experience. The other two have pixel experience plus. So it'll be a lot of fun doing the speed test. So before we get into the video, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Karash. Let's get going. So now, first things first, let's quickly have a look at both the devices. Now, these, of course, are the same ROMs from the side-by-side -side comparison video of Pixel Experience versus Pixel Experience Plus. So if we actually go to Android version 12, Pixel Experience, Pixel Experience Plus, latest April security patch. So everything is on par. The Mi 11X here has 92% battery. The Poco X3 Pro here has 99% battery. So right now we are comparing 860 versus 870. We will also be comparing the 870 versus 855 and the 855 versus 860. So it's going to be a three way round and you'll have three different videos. So it will be a lot of fun. One thing that will be doing different right now is because these are different chips, we will not be comparing the benchmark numbers, but let's at least do the speed test and the memory retention test as to which device retains apps in memory in a better, better way. So we will start with the social media round, then we will have some heavy and light games. We'll have some Google built-in applications and dialer and all the common you know, apps that you use day by day. So without further ado, let's begin the testing. We will start with Facebook. So that is three, two, one, go. Okay, very similar timing on both of them. How about Instagram? Okay, once again, absolutely similar timings, Twitter. Okay, a little fast on the Poco X3 Pro surprising Snapchat. Yeah, faster on the 11X there. Now we come to heavy games. So Asphalt. Okay, weird animation here on the Poco X3 Pro. The Mi 11X is leading so far. Let's see how it goes from here. It's loading, loading. Now this is surprisingly a game which takes time every time you load it. So, okay, <laughs> for some reason, the Poco X3 Pro loaded it quickly. So let's go to the main screen. And now we're going to talk about everyone's favorite PUBG Mobile or BGMI. Oh, I thought I didn't click on that one, but uh, very late animation on the 11X. But understand that it can take over. And just as expected, this is even though it opened late, but it is. Oh, wow. A lot of surprises there. So the Poco X3 Pro actually loaded this one fast. Now, remember the Poco X3 Pro is leading here. So Call of Duty Mobile is what we're going to test. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, once again, the 11X is going to load it faster. The raw power of the Snapdragon 870 showing all the action over here. Okay, yeah, of course. The 11X is the winner in this one. So now Among Us. Now remember all these apps have already been opened once just to make sure that we get one of the most accurate results, right? Among Us is loading. I don't know why we have a black screen here. Is it trying to load? We have a black screen on both the devices for Among Us. So we're just going to minimize this. Let it be in memory and see what happens. Now we'll come to Google apps so google play store first okay slightly faster on the poco x3 pro gmail yeah 11x a little faster there google photos yep similar timings on both youtube um okay similar timing to load the content a little stutter on the 11x now phone messaging chrome and the built-in camera application so let's go Yep, faster on the Poco X3 Pro. Wow, okay, almost similar timings there. So Google Chrome. Yep, similar timings and the camera application. Yep. 
so you know before we get into the memory management round let me tell you that the 870 is definitely killing it over here but because of similar software the 860 is also coming on its own on the poco x3 pro right now we're going to see what apps are in memory on both the devices so let's go to the first application here as you can see so instead of switching from the multitasking menu let's go ahead and switch from the icons itself so facebook first okay i think it reloaded on both instagram reloaded on both twitter wow reloading on both again snapchat yeah this one was in memory how about asphalt wow it's reloading on both the devices so no surprises there remember both of them have 6 gb ram right so battlegrounds mobile india heavy games of course they are reloading on both the devices here call of duty mobile looks like these are a lot of applications for any of the roms on any of the devices a black screen okay yeah it's loading now on both the devices so now play store yes it's in memory google mail reloaded wow google photos reloaded again youtube reloaded again system applications phone well it's reloading messaging sort of reloading there google chrome in memory and google camera right so now towards the end of this particular video what i can say is the snapdragon 860 is giving a very very tough fight to the snapdragon 870 even despite having almost identical roms all you know understand this is plus this is normal it doesn't really make a difference to the performance and the kernels on both the devices are different but what i can say is if you slap a custom rom onto a device which is slightly or considerably less powered compared to the one that is there on the left that is the snapdragon 860 you will still get a decent experience if i were to compare these two in miui you know the story would be completely different let me know in the comment section if you want me to make that video of comparing these three devices with each other on the latest version of miui for now what i can say is this was a fun speed test and very very interesting to see that most of the applications were reloading none of them were held in memory by the poco x3 pro or the mi 11x let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye